How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the level eight 20 inch roller luggage. This luggage has a compartment that you can open without putting it on its side. If you travel light, you no longer need to carry a backpack. Let me show you the other features of this luggage. First, a roll test. Their logo is right here. The opening flap has these two metal corners. It's not on the other side. It looks like a little piece of aluminum armor plating. The zippers on the laptop compartment has holes for you to lock it. It pops out and it's held in place by these flaps. If you unvelcro them, then it can open up fully. There's a flat zippered compartment here. This is cushioned, so it looks like you can put your cell phone there. There's another compartment here. This is also cushioned. Put some AirPods in there, two spaces for pens, and an additional very flat storage area. But it only goes down to like right here. It fits up to a 15 inch laptop, but it easily fits a 16 inch MacBook Pro. And there's an additional flat storage right here for power cords and whatnot. You can even store additional files and stuff behind this laptop and it pulls down. It's a bit more hidden because it's behind everything else, giving you a chance to hide stuff if you want to. I find this storage for the laptop to be very good because the bottom of the laptop area is suspended in air. This gives you very good shock proofing if you ever drop the luggage straight down. However, this flap is not as tapered as I would like it to be because if you connect this to the top, there's about one inch too much slack over here because if it's cut right, it can equally pull at the top as well as the bottom. Right now, if you align the Velcro perfectly, most of the pull is towards the top edge over here and the bottom is just kind of flapping around. This gives you an option to carry it like this or on the side. However, notice that these handles are not exactly in the middle. So when you carry, it's gonna tilt forward just a little bit. Not too big a deal because personally, I don't use these handles all that often. Most of the time, I just like to roll the entire thing around. You have your TSA approved lock. Simply put in your combination code, push it in and it'll open up. To change the lock, set it to the current password. Push this little button with something and change it to whatever you want it to be and then push the lock button one more and it'll be set. Now, if you lock it and you change it to something else, it won't open. And if you change it back, it opens. I've used this type of textured plastic in the luggage before and it's very durable. Open it up. And it actually includes this lock for your laptop area. The flap has a see-through storage area. Push these open to open it up and you have your normal clothing storage area. But this is obstructed by the two poles in the handle. So when you store stuff, you gotta kind of work around these poles so you can put more stuff in here. This is zippered so we can open it up and see what's inside. It's slightly padded with a very thin piece of foam. You can see the handle here. And one of the wheels is down there. It's held down by four screws and a plastic retainer. So this gives the possibility of removing that yourself and changing the wheels at some point. There's also a zippered top flap. You can open this and it includes a set of stickers, some desiccant. And this is another small compartment to put some clothes. However, you can expand this if you like with this zipper here. So just unzip it all the way around. And now you can pull it out, fit a little bit more in here. Luggage is roughly 15 inches wide, 22 inches tall, unexpanded 10 inches and expanded of about 11 and a half inches. So you can expand it another one and a half inches as needed. Pull handle, it has three height settings, the highest, middle, lowest, and if you go below that, it goes down all the way. Four double wheel casters and the rubber parts about an eighth of an inch thick. Each of them can rotate individually. Removing the caps, it's bolted in place by a rivet so I can't remove it any further to inspect the bearings. So if you ever wear this out, you're gonna have to replace the entire caster. And these two things, it's not magnetic or anything. It's just some bolts to hold together the handlebar that's up here. With the included lock, you can open it, thread it through this hole. It won't even open up a little bit because the way these holes are spaced out. Now, if we want to change the lock, there's this lever on one side that we can push. Now we can change it to whatever we want. Let's change it to one, two, three. Push the lever back to the original position and now it's set so we can open it. If we change it to anything else, it won't open. Now, if you still want to carry a backpack, it will fit over the handlebars. And most of the time, you'll be rolling it around like this on all four casters. You can't access the entire luggage with this side opening. So you want to keep the things that you're going to access 
on this side where you can open the side up. It really comes down to if you like the look of this thing with the silver, black, and these armor plating things, it's kind of a bit more masculine to me and I wouldn't mind carrying it around. If you guys are interested in this Legos, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.